Now, I wanted to really quickly talk about kitchen technology. See, we don't realize what technology has done, right? For instance, like my toaster here, right? Push toast, it goes ahead, closes it, and it has a sensor to detect when, you know, something's there to stop it. And push a button, and it stops, and in fact, it'll push it up, literally. And depending on what you might have in it, it actually knows, you know, wow, hey, something heavy is here, or this is how long it is, this is how far down I have to go. And then here you have a normal coffee uh, maker, right? Push a button, you put in your stuff, right? And then out comes the coffee. Now this coffee maker actually has a little sensor so that if it's brewing, I take it out, it stops. It literally can detect it. And up here off obviously the grounder and whatnot. And here's, you know, the buttons to push. That's not interesting. But I would like to come to my uh, uh, Keurig, right? Basically, as you see, I've already got it started. What it does is it takes water from uh, in here, which you can literally take this off and go fill it. Um, and you have a couple options here, but the idea is you open this sucker up and then you put uh, what's called a K-cup in. Obviously, you need a, a mug or whatever. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take uh, the cafe mug, right? Look at this little thing. Technology has allowed us to do this. A single cup of coffee. So if you're a single person, you don't have to make a full pot, which is nice. And it has decent flavors, actually. Uh, I have not had the cafe mocha, but we're going to sure try. So we close this down. And you hear it snaps. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, push. It's a big cup of coffee. And as you see, the water is getting sucked up. And in a second, it'll pour, and that's it. I just thought that was amazing, and I wanted to talk about uh, kitchen electronics.